Okay, so let's go ahead and um, try to set up uh, some voicemail accounts. So there's two things, uh, two parts to this. Uh, first, um, you want to go under the voicemail.com file and uh, create your voicemails. Um, so I'm just going to create a, a section called voicemail and here I'm going to define the uh, extension uh, 1000. Uh, it's gonna have uh, three parameters. It's gonna be uh, one, two, three, four, five as the password. And then um, uh, my name on it, and then um, uh, some email, so we can do uh, voicemail to email. But what that we're gonna we're gonna work on that uh, on that little later. We're not gonna enable that functionality for now. Um, Okay, and uh, um, okay, I'll just do one more for the last one. Um, let me just create a John Doe. Okay, so we have that set up, and now we want to go back to the zip.com file, and for the users, we want to add. Um, we want to specify that um, voicemail is equal to uh, voicemail. Uh, that is just the context that we define. And then the extension should match the uh, user ID that we created for these guys. see if the uh, yeah the caps are are okay so uh, let's let's see this uh, let me connect to asterisk um, voicemail reload okay it found voicemail.com and um, let me do a zip reload as well now I'm gonna um, unregister it and register these guys back Handle request receive zip subscribe freely with mailbox. Mm, give me a minute. Okay, so I think I know what's going on. Um, you actually need to uh, define these as um, two different things. So define these as um, the mailbox, and uh, this has to be. Uh, 1000 add um, voicemail mm -hmm. Okay, so let's uh, let's see. We don't show users. Okay, so we have four users defined. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Registered. Okay, it registered this time. Okay. Registered. Register this time. Um, count settings. Mm, not too sure how to to unregister um, this guy. And perhaps I can just exit out and uh, open it again. Yeah, it would work. Okay, so MDOA notifications should be working right now. Now, for voicemail to work, um, we need to make some modifications to the um, <coughs> to the dial plan. So that means the following: uh, Let's say uh, someone doesn't answer their phone. So what we want is we want to take um, call.
call to 1000 with a priority to over to um, voicemail. Uh, it's actually a uh, voicemail like this, I think. So, and I want to put it at the uh, um, that specific mailbox. So, that should work. There's some other options that we're going to explore to go to a different set of greetings, and you can work with uh, some wildcards like Extend. So, you don't need to do a whole lot of configuration. But um, uh, we're gonna explore those options later on. Okay. Now mm. plan show. Okay. So it did load it. That means that my syntax is correct. So let's say I call 1000. I'm not gonna answer this call. You have to find a timer for that, I guess. Go ahead and configure a timer. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. Hi, this is a test message uh, for extension 1000. Thank you. Uh, now I need to press the uh, uh, the pound key. Uh, Thank you. Okay, now this is a very bad thing um, because you don't want to play a busy sound to your users, but. Um, a couple of things to let you know what happened here. First, uh, when I declined the call, uh, it sent a 603 decline to the um, to the server. Therefore, Asterix considered that this channel was busy, and he kept on hunting uh, down the series of options going down to a voicemail. So, what's going to happen is if this user is busy or he rejects the call, then the call will go to voicemail. Basically, um, we catch it within the voicemail uh, application. And we play the intro uh, message and the beep for the voicemail tone. This happens because I don't happen to have my own greeting defined, so this is just the standard one that comes with asterisk. And uh, then it created a specific web file. You can see this is the file that was created uh, for my uh, message, and I just press uh, the pound key to enter it, and then uh, said thank you. And uh, it was busy because I didn't define a hangup extension. Um, so I might want to do that uh, to avoid that um, those type of situations here. So that's that's not very pleasing, not very customer friendly. Mm. It happens a lot on uh, Contact Center Express as well, Francisco. When you don't, you're not doing the scripting properly. You kind of those kind of weird uh, uh, disconnects happening. Um, you might do like a play goodbye before that, but I'll just stick to that for now. Okay. Now, um, I don't really see any notification of me having a voicemail. Oh, yeah, I do have one. You can see here, I have one. Um, I guess this um, this little software is not very uh, very much interested in letting me know that I have a voicemail. But that's fine. Now, how do I go about checking my voicemail? There's another application for that, uh, which is called uh, the Voicemail Main application. So, what you want to do is you want to do something like this. Uh, you want to define a number um, that's going to take you to voicemail. That's going to be your hunt pilot, or the equivalent to your hunt pilot. And uh, you want to grab it under the voicemail main application. And in here you want um, um, 
um, you might want to do something like this. Uh, the voicemail. Uh, to specify the owner. I I think there's a couple of ways to do it as well. Uh, let's try to see if this works. Mm, no, I think that's it's not gonna work. Let me don't. Okay, let me try um, uh, something a little different here. See if that works. Well, it looked like it did take it. So let's see what happens if I call extension 2000. Comedian mail mailbox. Password. You have one new message. Press one for new messages. Press two to check first message received at 2.12 a.m. Press one to send a reply. Press three to hear the message envelope. Press star to return to the main menu. Press 3 for advanced options. Press 5 to repeat the current message. Press 7 to delete this message. Pre message deleted. Press 3 for advanced options. Press 5 to repeat the current message. Press 7 to undelete this message. Press 8 to forward the message to another user. Well, in this case, you can see that um, Asterix prompt us for uh, the mailbox extension because it was not able to find the trillion parentheses for this function, so that looks like I um, uh, misconfigured something here. Yep, I have this. Uh, in uh, incorrect order. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me call again in my voicemail. 2000. Password. Goodbye. I press an enter so that doesn't seem to work. Password. You have no messages. Press 2 to change folders. Press 3 for advanced options. Press 0 for mail. Okay. Now, I could create uh, a specific mailbox like for example uh, I don't know for a sales group or um, for um, something specific so I could have like um, 1005 um, same password and just a sales department and I can have a um, sales and I could then let's say um, I want to direct it to um, someone in particular I could just do it like this or I could just have uh, something generic like uh, like um, uh, something like this, and then uh, configure this for all my phones, and have all my users going to voicemail if um, they didn't answer. 
cursor till you do so. And then for some other extension, I could just hard code um, a specific extension like uh, 1004. So I know that that call is going to be diverted to a specific mailbox in, in, in question. So that's um, another flexibility that I have. Okay. So um, I'm going to have a follow up video on um, configuring a little bit more dial plan so you can collect digits and do an IBR uh, based on different options and you can do transfers and hunting and uh, a couple of things like that so uh, thanks for watching I hope you found this informative